All right, y'all. So this video, y'all know it's going to be about Quentin Tarantino um, saying basically how he... Well, first of all, let me just say this. Would y'all... When y'all get rich, what's the first thing that y'all think about? Well, I know what I think about. I say, ooh, I'm going to get my mama a house. I'm going to get her... You know, whatever she need for the house, the car, whatever, my dad, you know, you know, make sure your people are good. You know, the woman that gave you birth, you know, uh, mother is God in the eyes of a child, especially when they do what they're supposed to do. And sometimes even when they don't, we still just love them unconditionally and we just forgive and forgive, right? Well, Quentin Tarantino has something different to say. Now, I want y'all to listen to this now. So, okay, director Tar Quentin Tarantino spoke about his mom. Connie, that's her name, and how he vowed not to give her any of his money when he was a when he was still a kid. Of course, at that point, Quentin Tarantino had no idea what his future held, but he decided that if he became successful and wealthy as a writer when he got older, he wouldn't give his mom any money. Okay, that's you would think she did something horrible, right? Like horrible, like really, really horrible. So, it says here, the reason why, okay, it says wealthy as a writer, when he got older, he wouldn't give his mom any money because of a comment she made when he was in his early teens. Now, y'all know Tarantino hella old. So, this happened when he was in teen, a comment. So, let's, let's, let's continue to see what that comment was. It gotta be something real horrible, right? Gotta be. On the podcast, Tarantino shared that there was one situation where he helped his mom out of a bind. But other than that, he has stuck to his vow. Wow. It says here in the interview, Tarantino shared that when he was a kid, he wasn't keeping up well in class and that the curriculum had to be adjusted for him. Okay. He felt he was drastically more sophisticated than the other students, but had a lot of circumstantial evidence that would point to the fact that he was stupid. Usually these genius in one area, they, you know, how they go in class, but they may be a genius in other things, right? And just steal our hearts. They become big stars. That's something that happens like that sometimes, okay? He says he felt he was drastically sophisticated, blase, blase. Uh, he also said it took him longer than other kids to be able to ride a bike, swim, or be able to tell time. Kind of sound like me except for the time part. And it says, <laughs> it says here, as he got a little older, around 12, 13, 14, he said he started writing scripts. Impressive. And trying to be a writer. He got in trouble for doing this in school, but couldn't understand why his new interest wasn't seen as an academic thing. Hmm. And it says here. Hold on, let me click on this because it says the story. For this. Okay, and it says here, his mother confronted him about it. She was bashing. Oh, Itching rhymes with B. She was itching at me about that. Torrentino explained here. He says, and then in the middle of her little tirade, she said, oh, and by the way, that little writing career, you know, in bunny ears, with the finger quotes, she says, this little writing career that you're doing, that ish is effing over. She meant just don't do it in class. Okay. And then it says down here, it was this comment that made Tarantino, Tarantino vow to not give his mother any money he found when he found fame. That's the reason, y'all. That's the <laughs> that's the reason. That's a that's a okay. So let's go here. Uh, he explained. When she said that to me in a sarcastic way, I was in my head and I, I go, okay, lady, when I become a successful writer, you will never see penny, one from me when I'm successful. There will be no house for you. There's no vacation for you. No Elvis Cadillac for mommy. You get nothing because you said that. Okay. So he said, okay, here, here it goes here. Podcast host and writer producer Brian Kupelman asked Torrentino, uh, asked if Torrentino stuck to that decision he made in his youth. And he said, yeah, yeah, I helped her out with a jam with the IRS, but no house, no Cadillac, no house. All of this was said with a laugh. 
So it's hard to know if Tarantino was serious, really serious or not. But it says, Copeland added, buy her a effing house. Come on. She drove you to prove it, man. The once upon a time in a Hollywood director responded, there are consequences for your words as you deal with your children. Remember, there are consequences for your sarcastic tone about what's meaningful to them. And it says here, uh, let's see. Right up and being surrounded by her diverse group of friends, it was almost like a sitcom, actually. The way we will live in the 70s because she was in her 20s. She was hot. She was hot, all right. She was a hot white girl, and he said... Her best friend was named Jackie. She was a hot black girl. And her other best friend was Lillian. And she was a hot Mexican girl. Yeah, it sounds like a sitcom, all right? And they lived in this, like, swinging singles apartment with me. I lived with these three hip ladies all going out on dates all the time and dating football players and basketball players. He added that his mom even dated legendary basketball player Wilt Chamberlain. Ooh, wow. She was having a good time and everything, you know. She was taking care of me too. So everything was fine. It was hit. It was just cool. He said, when I when I when I would hang around with kids, I think they were really childish. I always used to hang around with like really groovy adults. Blase, 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 blase. Okay. I'm surprised. Like he never said I'm just joking. So I'm assuming he's according to him, that's what it is. His mother sarcastically say your little writing career, you know, I don't know. It makes me kind of, I don't want to pit more on his mother than what it really is and try to paint her out as a bad person. But in my mind, if you really go through with that, I would think that did your mom did something else? Because that doesn't seem like a good enough reason. I mean, everybody's different. I mean, look at um Jackie Chan. He made all that money and he said he ain't leaving, leaving his kids any money. They should be able to fend for themselves. Now, if I if I if I accumulate all that wealth, I will take care of my turn. Yes, I say turn. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a South boy. I'm from the South. I'm a country boy. But yeah, I will take care of my turn, my cheering. I would I wouldn't I would leave them with that. I ain't work that hard just to give it over to who, you know. But I I don't know. It's just for me. Okay, here's my thing, right? I I was raised in a Christian home, right? My brother, he could rap. He could write. And he could play basketball and he could draw and all of that, right? Not once did he say because my mama, she's like a Christian woman. And she believes that if it's not gospel music, it is secular music. It's called the devil's music. It's called fiddle tune. And we should not listen to it because if we do, we will burn, burn in hell. So that's kind of like the message she put out. Not once did my brother say to himself, if I were to make it as a rapper, she ain't getting nothing. He just respect the fact that, you know, she ain't listening to that type of music. Now, and she don't think it's right or whatever, you know. But dang, I can't. if my mama would have ever said to me, yeah, your little rap career. Not that I want to be a rapper, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, your little rap career. I would have just be like, yeah, thought I wasn't going to make it, huh? You know, I made it, but that's my mom. She gave birth to me, you know. So I don't understand I don't know. I guess everyone's different because, it, like I said, it blew me away with the whole Jackie Chan situation. So tell me what you guys think. Is there something that your mother or father can do to make you say, if I if I made it rich, I'm not going to take care of you? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something, but let, let me say it like this. If you wanted to be a rapper or a singer, or you may have strict parents that say, I want you to be a doctor, but you end up being an actress or whatever, but they kind of discourage you from your dreams. I want to know in the comment section, tell me, if they kind of discourage you from your dream and you hit big and you make all that money, would you say, oh, no, you didn't believe in me, you discouraged me, so don't take the money. I'm not going to take care of you. Or would you just say, they give me life, that's my mom, she's been good to me overall, and no, she didn't believe in me, she kind of discouraged that this or that from me. But it is what it is. I'm going to still take care of my mom. I would like to know in the comment section what y'all truly, truly think about that. Like, get, tell me what would you do. And tell me, do you think that he was right? It is his money. But that's his mama. Like, she said this to you when you were like 11, 12, 13 year old. Like, dude, you hella old now. Are you really holding this overhead? So just tell me what you got. I just thought this story was interesting when I saw it. It kind of brought me to the point where Jackie Chain... Talk about, you know, not passing his wealth onto his kids when he died. He don't have them in the will. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this. Write in the comment section. 
give me a thumbs up. Okay, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. Thank you. One, two, gossip. I'm out.